here we go again. Hello again, PCQIs. All right, in this segment, uh, we're gonna be doing a form review, uh, which is the form that we're gonna be reviewing is a metal detection monitoring log, okay? So once again, it's gonna, this is a form review as part of our PCQI responsibilities. Now on this form, when you are looking at your form uh, for your metal detection, uh, in this particular uh, monitoring log that is uh, given to me, uh, the client specifically has requirements from their customer uh, to perform this uh, monitoring log. Now, I was not um, informed if the metal detection uh, is not used in other process, uh, but they just wanted to revamp this monitoring log per their customer requirement. So on the form, uh, when we developed it, obviously the title, it's a metal detector monitoring log. And we put a, a note on there that it's only utilized per customer requirements or request per the SOP that they were given or specification from this particular uh, customer. Now on the form, because it's customer specific, so we, we're gonna be adding sections on our normal monitoring log. And obviously we have the date uh, that this uh, record will occur or is occurring or had occurred. Uh, the line and product. Uh, if you have multiple lines and what product you're gonna be running on that line. The operators, you know, the perform by, the operator, uh, verified by section. And we added the customer name and the product name and the purchase order number. And uh, on the actual test part of it, or the verification part of it, we put the time. Now the frequency uh, on this one, it all depends on the activity uh, for that particular uh, customer. Some customer wants it done every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes, every hour, or every two hours, or beginning, middle, end. Uh, that all depends on the customer requirements that were given to this uh, facility. Uh, the test pieces is going to be for ferrous, non-ferrous, and stainless steel. Uh, we are in the process of getting those uh, sizes in mil uh, millimeters. And then the rejection test and the uh, performed by initials. Now, if there are any issues or for that, the machine had stopped, what those process are to repeat uh, in so many units or in so many minutes of production, and then uh, identifying the faults and holding the product and putting all those uh, corrective action and comments. Uh, then we added some uh, recommendation on corrective actions. Uh, notes on here. If the metal, like for example, if the metal detection fails at any point and with any test piece, hold the product up to the last OK check for metal detection. Now, when we meet with you, we might have to add a few more uh, things uh, or a few more requirements based on your process, your speed and volume. You might want to consider that part when you are uh, doing your metal detector uh, verification. Uh, the next part of recommendation we uh, we uh, included is uh, products rejected must be retested. Confirmed positive product must be investigated for metal inclusion. Now, at this point as well, we can uh, we can add depending on your speed and process. So many minutes prior, there are some machines that are just speeding right through. So when the metal detector uh, gets activated we might want to take a look at, you know, three minutes in, five minutes in, 10 minutes in to the process and rerun those again. Now that depends on the company policy and procedures. 
uh, added another section or uh, note, any piece of metal found in rejected products must be recorded and reported to supervisor for further investigation. <clears throat> uh, and then another note we added is uh, challenge the metal detector using validated sensitivity standards daily at the start of production every four hours during production so this is a this is just a recommendation uh, from us on the challenge now some of this is uh, this is depends on the process this particular process these are handmade products uh, that they don't have that much volume that they are producing in a hourly or minute by minute process now, like I said, it all depends on the speed and the volume of your process. You're going to have to adjust your frequency on the challenge uh, portion of this uh, register. Uh, and then we added a change history document uh, for that to record any uh, updates or changes on the forms as the forms uh, get distributed to the facility for use. Uh, the user is then going to evaluate uh, and let us know uh, how effective it is to use, how easy it is to use, uh, if they will consider automating this form or digitizing it to have some collaboration function with supervision, with production, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and with maintenance if there is an event that the metal detector fails. Uh, we are also including a, a standard worksheet or a work instruction where it has all of the uh, checklist. Uh, of how to use the forms, the purpose of the forms, the frequency and whatnot, and the training verbiage uh, that the employee or the assigned person that's performing this particular activity need to sign off. So then we can then record that for training, okay? So anyways, so thank you once again, PCQI, for participating on our form review in this topic of metal detector monitoring log. Have a great day. Contact us and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.